What's up, everybody? It's Michaela B here coming at you with a car nap tea. On my lunch break, I was sitting here just, you know, you come to your car just to get away so you can decompress and be 100% yourself and then put your smile back on before you go into the office. And just being here, relaxing by myself, reminded me of the time that I spent in my car preparing for Game Changers. What a lot of people may not know is, you know, when you're about to do something big, even if you don't know 100% that it's going to come through, you have this thing called belief. And belief is when you're just saying... A, a belief, a lie you keep telling yourself, or a thought that you keep thinking, right? So there was about a three-week period, almost a month, really like a month-long period of time between interviews and when the producers let you know if you were going to be selected for, for to play, you know? And in that period, instead of me getting a... going back to work and, you know resuming life as normal what i did was i put all my stuff in storage uh, came back from interviews immediately that weekend put all my stuff in storage um canceled my lease and packed a bag put it in my trunk and i literally lived out of my car for a month for the entire month between interviews in la and when I got the call saying I was going to be on Survivor Millennials versus Gen X. So I spent a lot of time chilling in this car and kind of like, you know, I got my workout clothes right there. I got my lunchbox. I got my water. So I was sitting here like, man, this is where you started. Like a year ago, literally like a year ago, I would have been parked somewhere in the DFW area. Maybe not at this time, but come evening time. I would have found like a Walmart or someplace to park, um, a 24-hour fitness, you know, anywhere where my car wouldn't look suspicious, I'd park it, put my sunshade up, <laughs> let my seat back, and go to sleep. And if you ask anybody who did pregame with me on either of the seasons, you know, you can look at the interviews, uh, one of Sarah's interviews you know, before Game Changer started, she was like, Michaela seems lazy and she was sleeping the whole time. People wonder how I could sleep so good on the island, literally laying on the floor or on some hard bamboo, cold, hot, itchy, stinky. The reason I could sleep is because I got a month of practice sleeping in my car. And so these are nice little leather seats, however... They're not the most comfortable thing, but it's getting uncomfortable can get you ahead a lot further than you think sometimes. So this just reminded me of the work I put in before that, you know, going without stuff. You know, so you, if your stuff is in storage and you're operating out of one bag in your trunk, you, you learn to deal with the same clothes. You don't wear the, you don't wear dirty clothes, but you just go, you, you realize what's essential, what's necessary, and what's not. And because I did that in real life for a little bit, I didn't have such a shock with that in the game. So um, to all the people out there, y'all are exhausted, working, tired, just make sure, are you, is what you're doing related to where you're trying to go? And if so, it's cool if you don't live the high life the whole time like don't don't compare yourself on social media to all these people acting like they got it all together and life is all great because if you're going somewhere big there's definitely going to be a grungy mark you're going to have a certain point where things are not fun things suck you're tired you're uncomfortable and you've got to go through that season and People might look at you crazy. Like, a lot of people looked at me crazy because I didn't necessarily tell everybody why I was sleeping in my car. But, you know, a year later, now I look cool. Isn't that interesting? So, um, surround yourself with the friends that, that have vision and, and just decide, is what I'm doing right now, is that actually, oops, going to help me 
um with where i'm going and if so it doesn't matter what it looks like it may not be cool may not be fun it may not be comfortable but if it gets you to that next goal go for it people so anywho about to get some slight shut eye and then get back in there and end this day but wednesday 8 7 central check out that first episode of game changers y'all it's gonna be legit holla